Hi, fellow believers in Christ. I just wanted to say, don't fall for the oldest lie. Um, you know, when Satan tempted Eve, what one of the things he told her was, you will surely not die if you sin. That I mean, that's what he was telling her because he said, if you eat from the, you know, the, the fruit from the tree, you will surely not die. And he knew that if she ate the fruit from the tree, it would be a sin. And she knew that if she ate the fruit from the tree, it would be a sin. So Satan was telling her, if you eat the fruit from the tree, you will not die. Or he was telling her, if you sin, you will not die. So he still is telling people that today. And he's telling Christians that is as much as he's telling um, secular people that it and Christians many many Christians believe that lie this very day even though the Bible shows us that when Eve believed that lie she did receive death now you might think she didn't die that day but but she did she received death on the day that she sinned because um, she her her body would from that point on no corruption before she ate from that fruit um she didn't have spiritual separation from god and she wasn't going to know physical corruption either um now if they had eaten from the fruit of the tree of life they would have lived forever and they still had the option of eating from that tree because that tree was in the garden and the Lord never told them that they could not eat from the tree of life. So eternal life was at their doorstep. Eventually, as time went by, they would have gone, gotten around to eating from that tree even if they weren't even trying to or weren't even thinking about it. At some point, they would have tried the fruit from that tree and they would have lived forever. And it would not have been a sin because the Lord never restricted them from eating from the tree of life. He only restricted them from eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But what did Satan say? Satan said, if you sin, you know, by eating the fruit, if you disobey God, you will surely not die. And as we all know, Satan is the father of lies, and everything Satan has ever said <laughs> to humans has always been a lie. And when Satan tempted Jesus, Satan always lied when he tempted Jesus. Satan lies every single time that he tempts us. So anytime you hear, anytime you have any temptation, no matter what it is, it is a lie. The entire foundation of that temptation is a lie. You can be you can be very assured of that fact because temptation comes from Satan and Satan never tells the truth. Sometimes he'll mix little bits of truth into the lie so that you'll swallow it. But what he says will never be truth because bits of truth mixed in with lie is lie. <laughs> it's still a lie, you know because it's a corruption of the truth so it's not truth so um, anyway anytime you're tempted no matter what you're being tempted to do um, it's based on a lie there there's a lie in there somewhere so and what Christians still believe today just like Eve believed it when she ate from the tree Christians believe that they can sin and they will not die. They will surely not die. And that is one of, the, one of the very oldest lies. It's one of the first lies. And don't fall for it. Do not fall for that. Because it is true that when you sin against the Lord, you will die. You will die. You will be separated from him spiritually now. And you will be on your way to eternal torment in hell in the future. And that is death, no matter what way you look at it. Going to hell is death, even though you can't die. But it's a, but it's a, how should I say, it's like a, it's like an eternal death. Because it's worse than death. 
because it's an eternal death where you actually wish you could die and you can't. So it's much, much worse because you're dying every second that you're in hell, but you never get there. You never get to death. You're just dying continuously forever and never getting to death. And so it's the ultimate death. Plus you're separated from God and that's why you're in hell. That's why it's hell because God isn't there. And all the comforts and blessings that we have on earth is as messed up as the earth is. It is loaded with all kinds of comforts. There's water, there's air, there's food, there's blankets, there's electricity, there's fire, um, there's housing, there's clothing, um, there's money, there's an economy. There are still abundant blessings on earth. There's rain, there's sunshine, there's clouds, there's a breeze, there's birds, you know, um, there's, there's bees and, and plants. So the blessings are abundant on earth. Even, even as awful as living here is, it's not hell. It's not nothing close to hell. In hell, all the things I just mentioned do not exist. There is no comfort in hell. Anyway, so yes, hell is death. And any kind of separation from the Lord is death. Jesus, because Jesus is life, you know. And when you're separated from Jesus, you're separated from life. So the, the old lie that Satan told Eve is a lie that many Christians today still believe. They believe that they can sin, go against what the Lord command, and they will, and they will surely not die. They've been deluded into believing that if they said the salvation prayer and they go to church and they call themselves a Christian and they have a Christian t-shirt and a Christian baseball cap, that they're all good to go. That that's salvation. And it's not salvation. Because there's, if they're still walking in sin, anybody who still walks in sin is walking in death. Because remember, the wages of sin is death. That will never change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That law will never change. The wages of sin will always be death. And Jesus died on the Christ cross once and for all to, to forgive you of your past sins and to put power into your life, which is the grace of God that keeps you from sinning anymore. He didn't die so that you can keep walking in sin because the wages of sin is death. He doesn't want you to walk in death. He wants you to walk in the light. He died so that you can be born again. And we all know that born again people don't walk in sin. What Born again wouldn't mean anything. If a born-again person walked in sin, it wouldn't mean anything to be born again. But it has great meaning because born-again people don't walk in sin. They don't walk in darkness. They don't walk in death. That's what darkness is. Darkness is death. Jesus never said, go to church, pray, read your Bible, and sinning is just fine because I died on the cross so that you can keep sinning. As long as you pray, read your Bible, and go to church, you're saved. And Jesus never said that. That's death. Because all Eve did, all she did, was eat that fruit. She didn't do anything else. She didn't cuss. She didn't take drugs. She didn't, she didn't fornicate. Um, she didn't abuse anybody. She didn't tell a lie. All she did was one sin. She ate the fruit from the tree. One sin. One sin. And she earned death. So if most of your life is pretty clean and you're only sinning in one or two areas, you're walking in death. You know? Think about it. Because how bad do you think it is to eat a piece of fruit? Yet that eating that piece of fruit caused Eve to surely die at that point. You know, she did die because she died spiritually and she entered into physical corruption. Now, I believe that 
ultimately Eve was saved and she went to heaven, but at the point that she ate that fruit, she was not saved because she disobeyed and there was no forgiveness for her at that point. She hadn't been forgiven yet. You know? So, don't believe that lie. It is absolutely not true that you can sin and live. It was never true. It was never true from the beginning. And it won't be true all the way to the end. Jesus said we have to be faithful to the end. Jesus said if we don't obey him, we don't love him. Jesus said we have to be born again. Jesus said we had to be more righteous than the Pharisees. And um, you can't be righteous unless Jesus is alive in you because it's the righteousness of Jesus that shines out through you. It's not your own righteousness because in your flesh, your flesh will never be righteous. Your flesh will always be bent towards sin. When Eve ate from the fruit, she was in the flesh. She was walking in the flesh. Um, you know, when, when Paul was persecuted in the name of Jesus, he was walking in the spirit. The spirit is life. The spirit lives forever. The flesh dies. And the only way you can walk in the spirit is in faith. The only way you can be born again is in faith. It's not a it's not your willpower. And your willpower won't cause you to not sin. It will only the only thing your willpower can make you can do for you is it can fool other people into thinking that you aren't sinning when you actually are. Because it can it, it fools other people because it makes you have your best behavior when you're out in public. But that's all. That's as far as willpower goes. When you're in private, you're still going to sin. And you're also going to have evil desires in your heart, which means your heart will be in sin. Even if you don't outwardly sin, your heart is still sinning. So you're still guilty. So you're still walking in darkness. You're still walking in death. That's why Jesus um, condemned the Pharisees, because they had corrupt hearts. On the outside, they were able to make people think that they were doing all good. But their hearts were full of corruption and evil. And that's why Jesus, he didn't think they were born again at all, and they weren't. Most Christians are just like the Pharisees. Their hearts are full of corruption, but outwardly, out in public, they do everything right. But God sees the heart. He isn't fooled by your outward public acts like men are because God can see through all that God knows what's on the inside of you he isn't limited to just seeing how you act in public you know your friends and neighbors don't know what you do behind closed doors in your own home unless you tell them and your friends and neighbors never know what's really in your heart only God knows and so Pharisees are people who um, are not born again. They walk in death. And it only takes one sin to earn you hell. It only takes one sin. You don't have to have a lot of sin in your life. You just need one, or one area in your life that you refuse to repent in. That's all you need. That's all Satan, that's all Satan needs from you to make you a candidate of hell. And so he'll keep telling you, you will surely not die because you go to church, you read your Bible every now and then, you go to prayer group, you know, you pray over your dinner, you have a shirt that says Jesus on it, you're not gonna die. You can sin and you will surely not die. You know, he told Eve the same thing because she walked with God every night. You know how, do you think, <laughs> Are Christians greater than Eve? Eve, Eve? Eve walked with God every night in the cool of the evening. Is that, is that less than going to church every Sunday? I don't think so. <laughs> Not by any means. 
I think Eve was a lot closer to God before she ate the fruit than anybody who just goes to church on Sunday. And yet Eve received the wages of sin, just like we all do. Anyway, God bless you.